Ipsos polling exclusively for Global News finds just 3% of Canadians say they would be willing to travel internationally right now. 10% by summer and just 18% would take a trip outside of Canada by the end of the year. The overwhelming point of view right now is that um, people aren't going to travel. And the reason they're not going to travel is, first of all, they believe that there's a risk associated with it. But secondly, they don't know what travel is going to look like. So they don't know um, whether the experience is going to be worth the effort. So they don't have any visual reference as to what a trip is going to look like. The, the, the second thing that comes along with that is they don't know what's going to happen in terms of their ability to actually cross the border, whether they're going to be able to get into the place that they want to get into, and when they're coming back, what's going to happen to them on their way back. So there's a lot of uncertainty around the travel experience. So as a result, people are reluctant to re-engage. If the government had an issue on vaccines, the other big issue it had on how fa was on how fast it moved on travel restrictions. Canadians feel that they moved too slow. When it comes to travel restrictions, it's clear where most Canadians stand. 83% of people say they support the federal government's international travel rules, including pre-screening, testing on arrival, and mandatory hotel quarantine. 90% say these measures should have been enacted much sooner. Uh, Canadians are pretty critical about whether the government moved fast enough to lock down our borders and to restrict travel, and their belief is that they didn't. And one of the strongest numbers that we see around any government action on COVID is the desire to see our borders shut down. In fact, 83% of Canadians say that they support the travel restrictions that the government just put into place. The overwhelming point of view right now is that um, people aren't going to travel. And the reason they're not going to travel is, first of all, they believe that there's a risk associated with it. But secondly, they don't know what travel is going to look like. Only 41% of us think that we should be making some exception for people who travel out to the country, uh, out of the country uh, on travel uh, for whatever reason, vacation work or whatever. Only 31% of us think that we should have any sympathy for snowbirds. And interestingly, the people who are hardest on snowbirds are older Canadians, which suggests that um, they're making different choices than the people that they're seeing who are traveling south and taking on the, the you know, their, their usual snowboard uh, lifestyle. Or maybe there's a few people who would like to be snowbirds who are upset that other people can do it, but uh, not a lot of sympathy for snowbirds right now. Travelers are more optimistic about 2022. 37% of Canadians say they'll be comfortable traveling then, but 27% say they'll wait even longer, until 2023 or later. And 17% of Canadians say they probably will never feel comfortable traveling outside of the country again.